Paul, I want to start programming, but I don't have a personal computer. What should I do? Now, in order not to waste your time, let me just go straight to the point first. You can start programming without having a personal computer. It is that simple. Yes, I know. Almost all the developers in the world use computers to do their programming. That's a major thing. I understand that. It makes their life easier. But the fact is that to actually program, you need only two things. The first one is the knowledge. The second one is the tools that you will be using. Now, the computer in this case is just a tool. It makes your life easier. It has a keyboard, so it makes a lot of things easier. In terms of typing and writing. Typing on the phone is not that easy. It has more functionalities. The computer has more functionalities. That's true, you can do a lot of things. But to just start with programming, I don't really think you need a computer, a full computer to actually start programming. Even your phone is a computer, if you want to consider it that way. Now, let's do something over here. Let's assume I'm the one who wants to start programming and I don't have a computer. This is what I would do. I would first do my research about programming. Learn the things I need to know about programming before I start. That involves what programming is, the different programming languages that are there, the one that I want to learn. Let's say I want to learn Python. What I would now do is to go and research and look for materials on Python. So I'll go to maybe YouTube, go to Coursera, go to Udemy, look for a course or just look for a book. I actually like the book with the title, Python All in One for Dummies, that's what I use anyway, but that's beside the point. Now, after I found this book, what I'm going to do is to be able to write the code. What I need to do is to be able to write the code somewhere to practice, right? Now, the fact is that there are online IDs that you can use in your browser and they work on your phone. For Python, I know of an application that you can install on your phone and still be able to do Python programming. The application is called PyDroid, PyDroid 3. There's a newer, newer version of it called PyDroid 3. Downloading that app, it enables you to write Python code on your phone on your phone we are talking about your phone over here without a computer so if i can write a python code on my phone in the browser or anywhere else and be able to run it i can program all i need to do is to be able to read the book the fact is that programming is not just about typing on a computer and writing a lot of code it is more than that it has to do with mindset and a whole lot to do about your way of thinking the programming language is just a tool that you use so when you learn the language, to actually call yourself a programmer, you should be able to know how to apply the different aspects, the different tools that the language provides you with. The if statements, the variables, the loops, the classes, the data structures and all of that. You should be able to apply these things to solve problems. When you are doing this, then you actually tell yourself that you are programming. It's not about writing the code on your PC. So in this short video, my goal is to just tell you that you don't need a computer to start programming. Honestly, you don't need a computer to start programming. I'm going to repeat that again. You don't need a computer to start programming. All you need is your phone, an IDE, anywhere you can write your code. If you go to Google right now, all you need to search for is online Python interpreter, online C++ interpreter, online whatever you want, and you'll be free to go. You can start programming. Maybe when you want to actually start developing applications for the real world, then you, you will say that, okay, you will need a computer to do this. So for those out there who want to start programming, but they are waiting to get a PC before they actually start doing the work, please don't wait. Just go straight ahead, get the materials, try and find some IDE online and just start programming with it. By the time you get a PC, to have the necessary knowledge and everything will just go on well. I know this video is very short. The main idea over here is for me to tell you that you can start programming without having a PC. And I think I've achieved that. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. If you really want to get started with programming, there will be a video up here. In that video, I'm going to show you how you can get started with programming. I'll walk you through some simple steps to just get you started with programming. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.